Um, I get both the TV guide that goes with the dish, which is impossible to read. I mean, if you think TV guide is difficult to read, this is worse. And then there's this kind of something called TV complete or something that gives you all the things that are on the dish and whatnot. And you can spend a day just going through, do I want to see this? When is it on? Do I want to see this? When is it on? Blah, blah, blah. But occasionally you discover some really kind of marvelous little movies you've never heard of. And you've never heard of the people involved. And you think, I wonder what became of them. Strange little movies that you just happen to have to hit upon or something. But I remember years ago there was an article in the somewhere or other about um, who has been in the most movies you've never seen? It was Donald Sutherland, hands down. Well, partly because, of course, he was Canadian. So, But at that time, there was something like <clears throat> 11 movies that Donald Sutherland had been in that had never been released. Some, um, some of them, half of them had been made in Canada, half of them had been made in the United States. Probably now, of course, they're all on cable. You can see Donald Sutherland any day of the week. And I think, why do, why do I hate Meryl Streep so much? She's no worse than you know, a lot of people, though I don't really believe that. Uh, but I think, well, it's, it's got something to do with, you know, what I've seen before and what is the, the, the sort of parameters now of what's good acting and you know I mean there are all those people that really just drive me absolutely crazy which they, which nobody ever did in the old days there were people I probably didn't like as much but I mean I never get quite as incensed at anybody from the old days as I do at Meryl Streep and Glenn Close and Vanessa Redgrave and Helena Bonham Carter and uh, gee let's see who else Shirley Knight and but they're, they're all they're all acting apparently in, a, in the same way, or in, at least in something that really grates on me. I think, oh, shut up. Stop that. Get off the screen.